Mahmoud, his wife and their four children are safe in a refugee camp after having spent almost two years under the rule of ISIL in Mosul. They fled six months ago and are still deeply marked by the dangers they faced. France 2 filmed their arrival at a Peshmerga barricade. One night in April, after the curfew in Mosul, they made their way through a minefield towards positions held by Kurdish Peshmerga forces. With their goal just a few metres away, they were dealt a terrible blow. We walked a bit and passed the ISIL trenches. I straightened up like this. I looked over my shoulder and saw my mother and father at my side, and then the explosion happened. The mine blast left the boy instantly blinded and unconscious. His little brother, two and a half year old Salouan, endured a life threatening shrapnel wound to the stomach. Here, a Peshmerga soldier carries the child to safety. He was operated on to extract the shrapnel that was lodged here. He's a hero. Given the dangers the family faced, they are lucky to have survived. But as the mother explains, they had no real choice but to risk escaping. We were under psychological pressure. Women cannot leave the house. They are forced to wear the niqab. They have a great grasp over you. The family still have to live with the memory of their ordeal. They are dogs. If you don't go to pray at the mosque, they execute you. If they see you in front of your house during prayer time, they execute you. They take everything from us. If you don't have a long enough beard, they kill you. They use any excuse to kill you. I call upon the security forces in Iraq and countries around the world to free the families from ISIL's grip, from their oppression. If we do not liberate towns and cities and all areas under their control, families will suffer just like Amar. <laughs>